Okay, hi everyone. We're going to take a quick look at this question right here, restricting the domain of y equals x squared minus 3, so that's inverse as a function. Okay, this is probably one of the more uh, difficult ones to get your head wrapped around here. Uh, that's a terrible parabola, but you get the idea. One, two, three. Okay, um, just because uh, the restrictions here are a little bit more complicated than we, we used to say. It used to be that we would just take and restrict the domain by simply saying x was greater than or equal to zero. And that would suffice it, because when you invert just that portion of it right there, you would get that, which is a function. But it's a little bit more complicated, because if I take the parabola, okay, and let's say here's my axis of symmetry, okay, but let's say that I cut it at this point right here, okay, and let's say that this is x equals to some value a. I don't know what that is, but let's just say that that's a. If I take and restrict the domain to the spot, the part less than a, then when you invert that, what you're going to get is this piece right here. Okay. So again, if you're if you're inverting just that portion of it, you get this, and that is not a function. Okay. So if I'm if the a value is to the right of the axis of symmetry, then what I need to do here is restrict the domain to the values greater than a. So in this case here, I would have to say, uh, if we take a look back up at our original question here, the axis of symmetry is right here along the y-axis here. So if a is greater than zero, then my domain here would have to be x is greater than or equal to a. Okay. Likewise, if a is over here, okay, if the a value here, if x equals a, if a is to the left of the axis of symmetry, then what I need to do is I need to restrict the domain to this piece right here, so that when I invert it, I basically I, I don't want to include the the vertex. Okay, I don't want to include both uh, at any point in time uh, points on either side of the vertex because when I invert that, I won't get a I won't get a function. So if a is now less than zero, I need to restrict my x value to values less than or equal to a. So it's these pieces right here together that make up the full domain. 